Hi, welcome to another video. So, recently, I covered Zemeth, and it allows you to save a ton of money on model providers and everything. But recently, it got some pretty good new upgrades, including the Artifacts feature and Focus OS. So, let's check it out, and let me show you all the cool new features it has. So, first of all, if you don't know about Zemeth, it is an AI platform that allows you to access all the latest flagship LLM AI models from a single platform, along with an AI-based search engine, an AI-powered notepad for speed and inspiration, chatting with documents, a natural language searchable media collection, image generation, an artifacts generator, and even their new interface called Focus OS, and much more, all at an affordable cost that starts from just $18. You can even use it for free with 15 daily credits, which is also great. The tools it offers are really great. For instance, there's the intelligent search feature that works like perplexity, allowing you to search and summarize stuff from the web. It's really great for researching. There's also a note-taking option that lets you write notes with AI autocomplete, summarization, sentence improvement, and more AI features, which is also pretty great. It also has a document analysis feature that allows you to upload a PDF or documents and chat with the context of those documents, which is also great to see. There's also an AI image generation platform that allows you to create realistic and stunning images with text prompts only using the latest generative AI models like Flux and Stable Diffusion and everything like that. There's also the new Focus OS, which gives you a desktop-like interface on the web where you can navigate through multiple tools easily and just focus on getting things done without messing around with multiple menu options and stuff like that. If we talk about pricing, there are three options. The first one is a free option that gives you access to 15 credits for messages per day and access to basic features and tools. Then, apart from that, you have the most popular $18 option that gives you 10,000 credits per month and access to core features, plus models, on-demand credits, the Focus OS feature, access to tools and artifacts, usage in chat, access to image, video, and web search for chat messages, the note auto-sync feature, the whiteboard auto-sync feature, and access to the latest features. Then, there's also the $36 per month plan that gives you 21,000 credits per month, access to premium features, unlimited usage for Google Gemini, 1.5 Flash model, access to OpenAI 01 models, and access to video generation as well, which is also great. Now, let me show you how you can use it. Once you are signed in, you'll see this page. These are the tools you can use here, but all these tools are also integrated into Focus OS, where all the tools are in a dock and you can use them simply. So, I'll go through the tools via Focus OS. Here, you first of all have the main chat feature. Here, you can select the model you want to use, like Gemini, GPT-4 001, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Llama, and DeepSeek. Let's select Claude here. Now, you can attach images and everything here as well. There's also the settings menu, where you can select artifacts and generate code, run it, and preview it, which is really great if you like using it for coding. You also have the Tools option, which allows your LLM to search the web as well, which is very cool. Let's enable Artifacts and ask it to make a simple Minesweeper game. Okay, so you can see that it's generating the code here, and it looks quite similar to Claude's Artifacts or any other model you may have tried. Now, once the code has been generated, you can see the preview and everything which works really well and is great to use. So, this is amazing. Now, 
If we move on from this option, the second one is the secondary chat option, which allows you to add another chat window and use it, which is also great. Then you have the notes option. Here, you can create new notes and get AI auto completion, summarization, and everything, which works pretty well, to be honest. You can also generate content in it by using the slash command and generating content with it as well, which is also great to see. The next option in the dock is the creative option. Here, you'll see a bunch of creative tools like text to image, image to image, replace objects, remove objects, remove background, replace background, generative fill, upscale image, and even video generation. Let's hit text to image here. Now, you can see that here, you can enter the prompt for the image you want to generate along with the model option. There are multiple models like Flux Pro, Schnell, Stable Diffusion. They all are great, but I like Flux Pro as it's the best. You also have the number of samples to generate along with the aspect ratio as well. Once you have done that, you can just hit generate. And after waiting a bit, you'll see the image generated. You can just download it or do anything you'd want. There's also image to image, replace object, remove object, remove background, generative fill, upscale, and video generation as well. And all of them work well, which is really very good. Then, after that, you have the library. Here, you can upload PDFs into a folder inside the sources and then chat with all those sources at once. It works really well, to be honest. It's super cool to use and works well. So, that's super cool. You also have Whiteboard, where you get an Excalidraw like interface that you can use to sketch out things and everything. It's great for taking notes, making simple sketches, and stuff like that. So, that's super cool as well. You also have Next and Previous, which allow you to just move between pages as needed. So, that's super cool, and Focus OS is super cool to use overall. You also have Preview, which shows you the panels you have open as well, which is great. You also get Timer and News, where you can catch up with new stuff as well. So, these are the major features here. I think this is a really great platform that allows you to use every model in one place with a bunch of tools that keep getting updated regularly. So, make sure you check out Zemith through the link in the description and try it out as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.